Welcome back, everybody. We're playing some uh, Knights of the Old Republic here. The first game, not the second one. Last time we left off, we uh, set off a big explosion so that the guy would not be contracted under the bounty hunters and this stuff so he can get away from the bounty hunters. So we're going to go collect on that real quick and then we will continue on with the story. Collection, maybe even do. Oh, see, hold on. I want to go this way. Maybe do one other bounty. Anyway, Zax is the guy that takes care of all the bounties. I got a bounty I want to collect on. Lie to him to tell him that Matrix is dead. Because Matrix is not dead. We saved him. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion. Some of my people saw you buying the Permacrete detonator. It's good, Matrix dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. Have 300 credits. Excellent. I could try to persuade him, but I think he'll reject me because I don't really have a charisma stat. You do good work, human. That's There's lots of bounty hunters, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Alright, that's it. Now I'm going to come over here, we got experience and monies and uh, quest completion for that. That guy wanted 200 money for Dia, so let's talk to him. Um, I want it removed. Here's 200 credits, now get that bounty removed. So, journal entry, credits lost, light side points gained. And now I have to come back over here and be like, so... Bounty is done. I think I have to do that. May actually have to talk to Dia at some point. Um, Dia! That bounty's been pulled, human. Holden doesn't told me he doesn't want her dead anymore. Sorry, no credits for Dia. So that's what he says. Oh, hello, Holden. Weird. Just standing there. And this is where we go out. So now we can get on with the story. After this loading screen of loading. Alright. Uh, we got here a bouncer. We don't really care what he says. We have the hidden back space. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Beck? Well, really I am, but I'm kidding. I need his help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Uh, maybe I could be an ally against those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gavin in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Alright, so you're going to let me in? Go in and speak to Gavin if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden are watching you. Alright. She's very convincible. My cats are being fuzzy. It's a problem. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, Alright, here is the Hidden Back space. We could go through and try to loot stuff, but then everybody would start shooting us. So we're just going to talk to right Who are you? her. What is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want. I have my eye on you. You try anything, you may vaporize before you can say Vulcar Spy. And yes, I just took a picture of my cat. If it comes out well, I will upload it so you guys can see it. To forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Well, I need information on those Republic escape pods. The escape pods? 
you know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. Uh, you know, I do have this suit that looks very Sith-like, but I'm really not a Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. So now I have to go save her butt. Normally the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. All right. Well, can you uh, can you help me with that? I might be able to help you with this if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here and much to lose. So, what are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. So, how do I do that? Mission Veil. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. And where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalva are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you need some way past the sit guard post at the elevator. Alright, well I've got some uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Alright, well... I uh, guess I'll trade in the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No, I'll be back when I get that thing. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Yeah, so... um. We have to do that. Go get that thing. I'm sorry guys, my cats are being really fuzzy and cute right now. It's a problem. But yeah, we have to go find Mission uh, this way. And we have to go find the stuff. Here's some dudes I need to take out. Again, because they're not using shields, um, blasters will work just fine against them. 
Uh, if you're using, if they are using shields, you can usually just use a melee weapon like I'm doing now, and that will completely bypass what the uh, shield is supposed to do. Uh, unless it's a Mandalorian melee shield, in which case blasters do fine, but melee weapons do not. So, yeah. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his chair. We do all the work. Davik claims as part of the exchange. So let's him, let's see him prove it. Yunyang. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Vulkers. So you want to play this the hard way? Okay. Oh, hey, Kandaris, we didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we just goof around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Hey, here's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. All right. It's an interesting person. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. And who are you again? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Alright, and that's that. Down here we do have another set of lower city apartments, which we can go through. Oh, hello again. You seem to be taking great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? Quiet, Luro. That's Kalo Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way we'll collect the bounty is over our cold dead bodies. That's the plan. And he's out. Did they leave anything? No, they did not. Let's go ahead and clear out this this area. Okay, you can see this guy over here, he put on a shield, and you can kind of tell because he's a bit glowy. Oh, that's the boss. Oh, he's getting wrecked. Okay. And Karth has, or Karth has that one taken down. So, boss has a uh, shock stick and combat armor. It's not much of a boss. Huh. Well, there's one way to do that. And my prize is a med pack. So I lost health in order to gain health back. More supplies. I thought I saw it flash that somebody is ready to take me down. Yeah, let's see you do that, sir. Um, Julia? There we go. And that guy? Oh, you missed. There we go. And remains. Uh, excellent, a frag grenade. I'm on board with those. I might use a med pack here real quick. There we go. And continue on. Another door. More dudes. Sorry, you really don't have to be in melee range to shoot a blaster at these guys. You really don't. In fact, I think you lose your ability to shoot them accurately if you do if you're in melee range so you should really stop doing that sir it's not very helpful and another apartment door ooh there's some dudes over there yeah well uh. 
Bonk. Okay, so this is another one of those things where there's a message, and in that is the clues. Hey, Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did it? Did he at least leave Hyperdrive, Hyperdrive is capitalized, behind to keep your company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan, it can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everybody locked up in that old strong box. Keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody is going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Alright. The strong box is particularly sturdy. There is a password. Uh, this strong box is the property of Elamatic. Access is not permitted to unauthorized users. Please enter the proper password to responses to confirm your identity. What is the name of your pet? That would be... The only one of these we read was Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? That was the person who wrote it, which was his... Uncle. Where did your family come from originally? The, that would be the one place that we didn't talk about. Or that, that they did talk about, which was Alderaan. Identity confirmed, lock disabled. I get 110 experience for that, and a blaster, Republic mod armor, and credits. Republic mod armor might be better than what we have. We have 7 with a plus 2 possible. This is 5 with a plus 4, so that's really not even better. It is upgradable, but yeah. That may end up being better later on in the game, when we can actually modify stuff. Aw, oh, don't be shooting me, that's not very nice. Oh, oh, and, and, and now you're, you're laying down. Dude, are you, are you sick or something? Yeah, I don't know about this. And I'm a little low on health because of that poison stuff, which is really dumb. Maybe one more med pack. Alright. Oh, here's Selvin. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now. What are you doing here? I think this is one of the ones with the uh, bounty. No, I'm the one. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. So she's going to force us to wa either kill her, and if we talk to her again, like she would uh, attack us, or just walk away. As much as I want to do the bounties because of experience and money, I will walk away. By the way, how close, how far are we on the light side? We're doing pretty well. Pretty well. It could be better, but we're doing pretty well. More dudes? More dudes. More dude. Apparently Karth is so good at shooting through me. I don't know. That's one of the things they didn't really get right in this game was you can shoot through people. But, hey, who am I to complain? Alright, so that was that. And we need to go find mission. Yes, Karth, I know you want to level up. But see, I just don't care about you and your leveling up. More dudes we're going to have to go through here. Karth, melee range and blasters. We've talked about this. And I was hoping I'd be able to lose the dude there, but it did not work. Alright, remains. What do you have? Credits. I need those. Let's go ahead and do the level up real quick. Uh, level up. It's going to be an easy one. Take awareness. Feats. Now, which feats do I have available? I have improved power attack. I don't really need that right now. Um, all the power attacks have a minus three penalty to actually hit them. You just deal a lot more damage if you can hit them that way. But it's not really worth it to me right now. The ones that I'm looking at that would be valuable are either Toughness or Dueling. Toughness gives you uh, minus two points from any damage that you take, which means that if someone deals damage to you, it's automatically subtracted by two. Early on in the game, that's really, really good. 
Uh, later on in the game, they start dealing a ridiculous amount of damage, like 50 or 60 or 100 points of damage in a single shot. So minus 2 from that is not very valuable. But dueling gives you plus 2 to attack and plus 2 to defense. Defense is their chance to hit you. So if they can't even hit you in the first place, the minus 2 wouldn't be very valuable. But I think I'm going to take this one anyway for right now, because that will become more valuable and that will continue to be more valuable throughout the game later. Whereas this one is an immediate benefit now that I'm going to get later anyway. Um, but yeah, most of these are not going to be very valuable to us. Like, uh, Demolitions of Stealth we're not using. Persuade and Treat Injury we're not using. Awareness would be kind of nice, but it's really not worth a talent point. Repair, Security, and Computer Skill we're not using. So like I'd have to pick like a Melee Skill. Uh, this is Dual Wielding, which we're not doing. Melee Skills, Melee Skills. This one is a bonus to all saving throws, which is helpful, but again, right now we're not that interested. Melee skill, range skill, which is completely useless to us since we're not going to be ranged. Another range, another ranged. More damage with blasters, more damage with blaster rifles, more damage with heavy weapons, uh, more damage with melee weapons. This one would be useful in the early game, but once we get a lightsaber, we're going to be done with melee weapons completely, so it's a waste of a talent point as well. And that's where we're at. We may end up getting some of those less useful ones later on. Really, Karth? Are we going to do this every episode? Ah, <sighs> anyway. Let's talk. Yes, what's on your mind? Well, I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Uh, how about those issues you seem to be having with me? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. That... Uh, why are you so hostile? You, uh... You haven't done anything yet. But there's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before by people, and I... No, it won't happen again. So... You want some guarantee that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Mm, I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of trusting anyone. Uh, actually, let's let's do this one since it's all good and happy and stuff. Well, that's too bad then, because I'm not going to change. Okay. You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damn important? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. I mean, we are kind of about to walk up to a Sith Patrol. I, I'm, I'm sure that was a very important moment in, in, in your life. You looked like you were very bothered, and I'm going to go pick up these remains because those are also very important in life. Uh, six credits. I walked that distance for six credits. That one I don't think was worth it. Hello there. Uh, this spot right here, if you don't have the credentials, is basically Hold instant on, death. Civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Yeah, see, um, I, I have those papers. They're right here, and that's totally my name on them, and I'm, you know, yeah. See. All right, so, but yeah, if you start to get, like, testy with him, or threaten to kill him so that you can go past him, you'll die. It's not even fair. It's like, you know, there's fighting, and then there's one-shotting someone, and then there's this. It's not fair. Yeah, this is our uh, these guys want to toll... Uh, just, here, have some credits. Go away. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Oh, my name's Julia Thorne. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? 
The surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. And who is Rukil? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Dark somehow. All right. Uh, it sounds like he might be a little crazy, but yeah, I don't really have time for this. Uh, of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? You probably want to speak to Gendar. He's the leader of our village. But if you if you have time later, maybe you could come back and speak to me again. I don't get much chance to talk with people from the surface. Okay, I lost five credits. Oh no. All right, uh, a little early on time, but this is actually a really good spot to call it because there's some stuff we're going to have to do around here. Um, it, basically, we got a big section coming up, so this is a good spot to stop. And we will continue next time. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That'll let you know when I put out another video. If you have enjoyed this video, though, hit the like button. That lets me know that you liked it. So for those of you who are not lost like I am and are subscribed, we will see you on the next video. Bye!